Let's go to Addis Ababa now, and we can speak to France 24's Maria Gert Nicolescu, who is uh, standing by for us. Uh, Maria, just tell us how the voting process uh, has gone overall. Well, polls uh, were supposed to close at uh, 6 p.m. tonight, but in the afternoon, there were still uh, very long lines of people waiting to cast their ballot. And so the National Election Commission decided to uh, postpone the closing of a polling station uh, by three full hours. Uh, in Addis Ababa, globally, uh, the, the election went very uh, smoothly. People seemed very eager and happy to cast uh, their ballot. Many said that they hoped the election would bring, bring a peace peace and uh, stability to the country. In total, uh, 38 million Ethiopians were registered to, to vote, but about one-fifth of the constituencies in the countries in the country did not participate uh, in this election because of several reasons, because of logistical uh, challenges, but also because of uh, insecurity uh, in the Tigray region, for example, or in several parts of the Oromia region. Out of those constituencies that did not vote today, 64 are set to cast their ballot in September. But in the Tigray region, where a conflict is still unfolding since November, no date has been uh, set yet. Uh, today, after casting his vote, Abiy Ahmed said in a short interview that there is no hunger in Tigray, despite several NGOs and international organizations saying that there is a humanitarian crisis and even speaking about famine in that region. And Maria, from the uh, voters you've been speaking to out and about, what are they telling you as being uh, the most important considerations as they cast their ballots earlier today? Well, globally, I think Ethiopians are hoping that uh, this election will bring a stability. They speak a lot about hope, a uh, hope that uh, the problems will be solved, hope that, that they will able that they will be able to uh, elect uh, someone that uh, they want as their leader in a free way. Some were saying that it is, it is the first time that they're participating in an election uh, because it is the first time they're trusting in an election. But as for the most pressing issues in the country, of course, it depends on who you ask. Uh, of course, the conflict in Tigray has cast uh, a shadow on this election, especially uh, at an international uh, level. There's also uh, the Oromia region Region with, which is Ethiopia's most populous region and where Abiy Ahmed had a lot of support when he came to power in 2018. But now um, he's being criticized a lot in that region. Two main opposition parties that could have posed a threat uh, to Abiy's party have boycotted the election. And so some are saying that the results of this uh, election will lack some credibility. But more generally in the country, I think if Abiy wins the election, he will be expected uh, to, to find solution, solutions to the many inter-ethnic conflicts that have been going on in the country. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for bringing us up to speed. France 24's Maria Gert-Nicolescu.